Hey, how's it going, everyone? Arctic here with some more Fallout 3, and we are in Little Lamplight, where Little McCready lives. Hey! What? You in town, huh? If McCready let you in, that's good enough for me. I will kill well, every single one of you. Who are you? And how'd you get McCready? In that case, I'm Nick Nat, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff. And sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? Do you know who did the memory swap on the Commonwealth Android? I sure do. No one believes me, though. It was old Pinkerton. You know, the ghost of Rivet City. He's a genius. All right, well, look at that. I Child at heart is a very good perk. I would say that it gives me lots of stuff. You, fuck you, princess. <gasps> Hi there, mutt face. Look at doggos. Look at doggos everywhere. Alright, where's McCready at? Door to Great Chamber, and then we have something else over here. Alright, I might need McCready then, because it's obvious I can't get through there. Oh, wait, what was that? You cannot use this now. Damn it, I'm weak. I can't use a pulley. Alright, well, if there's an easier way to get down there, I'll take that way. I'm not even near you, girl. Right, where is McCready at? Hey, what's that? Not much, I guess. Apart from keeping you dumbasses in line, that is. Okay, bye. Yeah, okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. <laughs> Good. You don't want to go there. We got pretty good at keeping that. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. It's the only... The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computers... I'm the mayor, not a... Maybe he's back there by the door. What do we yeah. Damn, McCready. Hey. Alright, so I need to find Joseph then. Joseph? Oh, hey, excuse me, hey. Oh, God, no, not you. I want anything to do with you. No, leave me alone. Do you like being bad, or is it just your... Oh. Did he ask if I like being bad? Wait, am I, I'm bad on here, right? So does he just know? Bro, it's not my fault that I'm bad. I murdered a bunch of slaves. Uh, well, Joseph. here's something I don't see every day. A new face and little lamplight. A bit big for one of our kids, but you seem all right. I'm Joseph, and around here, I might as well be the old wise man. Try not to interrupt my class. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching. But I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. That's amazing. If you're looking for a haircut, feel free to ask. Nuh-uh. Door looks fine. Computer's broke. Well, maybe not broke. But it sure don't work right. I turned it. Nope. Nobody ever wrote it down. And then one day somebody forgot. You know how it goes. Sure. Come on. Yes. Let's go, Joseph. 
I feel like Little Lamp Play would have been a perfect little area to be able to travel back to if they ever uh, allowed us to come back to the Capital Wasteland. Look at Joseph just kick those barrels out of his way. Nothing's hey. stopping him. What? I'll get that computer turned on for you. Only get moving, kid. Even I can't really take it that high. Okay, there you go. The computer. Now, I wonder what type of education they get. Well, back at the start, all the children had were the notes from the grown ups that hadn't left yet, and a few books on caves from the store. But after finding the vault, a few scavengers brought back holotapes with basic schooling, reading, basic math, encyclopedias, that sort of thing. We don't get many books anymore from the scav team, but I make sure to keep my own notes on the computer for whoever takes over after I leave. Mostly, whatever they want to learn. We don't have strict classes or anything down here, but it does mean they're interested in what I'm teaching. But everyone learns the basics of fighting and shooting and survival. We've all got obvious reasons to be interested in that. We entered all of the books and holotapes into the computer, but frankly, there are a lot of important subjects the Volt's material didn't cover. I could wish for more, but we're probably still the best school in the Wasteland. Maybe the only school in the Wasteland, really. Yeah, I wonder how that you work. Glad I could ha have to solve your bullshit problem today. Oh my god, what a savage. You sure about that? Come on. This kid's a savage, and he's got a gun on his back as well. He's just ready to murder anybody. Actually, if you do fight them, because I did uh, fight them a little bit, or attempt to. See, look at that. He kicked that even further than Joseph. And that can barely kick them as strong. These kids are going to be tough out in the wasteland. Well, wait. This was murder pass, so... All right, bye everybody. Murder pass. How tough can that be? I mean, obviously, if I clean this place up though, and I kill everything in here, they can just move in. Oh God, it's super mutants! I hate them. of them all. Just, uh, just can you freeze for one second, sir? I gotta get, uh... Yeah, I can see why they didn't really want to fight the monsters. That's why you're going to experience a little bit of pain. I really don't want any grenades, but I might as well take them. Maybe collecting these books will be a good thing for the little kids. I can just go and return some to Joseph then. Oh! 
Okay, I don't even need to waste all my bullets on these guys. Let's just keep going. Okay, 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 he's got a minigun. Oh god. Oh god, there's a lot of them. McGrady, help me. Oh god, of course I go into a dead end. I think we can kill them all now. I think we got this. See, look at that. I wasn't afraid. Alright, well, let's get out of here. I mean, heck, with the kids' numbers and stuff like that, with on how many there are, I'm sure that they could be just fine setting up another base here. I just went into a complete circle. Are you shitting me? I guess I'm going to have to fight all of them, then, if this is the case. Unless the way that I didn't want to go was the right way, which it seems like it is. I really like this weapon. Like, can we get this in the butt next to the fifth game, or 76? Is this weapon in 76? Oh, um, so... Speaking of 76, I'm not going to put that into the anthology run just because it's just. What was that? Oh, that answered my question. But yeah, so no Fallout 76 in the anthology run. Game's over. Oh, yeah, well, I have an axe. Think you're a master? Hold on, let's see if you can stop me and my axe attack. Ooh. I think I also have a bonus where it does more damage as well. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Super Sledge. I'll take that. Level up! Alright. Well, we're already almost done with the game, so let's just get a little bit more into that. Couple into speech. Yo, let's get that one. 
Some additional hit points? Yes, please. 400, wow. It's weird that this is technically a vault that's down here. That little lamplight is uh, basically a part of. Oh, shit. Look at that. Already another level. <laughs> oh shit! The weapon broke! The weapon broke! These are some really nice weapons I got from the pit. Some Jack Daniels, yum yum. Cooking pot, that's good. You can boil water with that. I know some people might be surprised. That's what it's used for. This place has definitely seen some better days. That doesn't look nice. I'm gonna have to get my weapons repaired before I uh get it, after I leave this place. If I was them and they just watched me take, and I just watched a human take down like my master of group, another master soon, I'd be all like, this dude is God. Whoops. 
I think we bought those stim packs before we left. I better find more stim packs soon, otherwise. Spork, nice. Did he really try fighting them off with a spatula? That's pretty great, my guy. He tried. He died fighting them with a spatula. Oh my god! He's beautiful! That's the rest of my ammo. Oh! Impossible, you might say? Yes, impossible for me to win. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to get... I'm just gonna keep upgrading all my health. And that's really the only thing that I can really do. Yes, I'm human, but who are you? You care who I am? Uh, forgive me. I, I'm not used to pleasantries. I'm more used to grunts and being struck about by the others. My name's Fox. I've lived in this cage all my life. Yes, uh, I suppose it is. Though when my captors placed me here, they were uh, too stupid to realize that the room contained a, <laughs> a working terminal. I've spent all my life teaching myself to read and speak. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Surrounded by the world's history, and yet my world consists of this tiny room. I think... When I was created, something went wrong, and I didn't come out like they planned. Just like all the other things in this makeshift cell block, whether he's... Perhaps. 
Gatlos. I assume you're here to find the Gat. I know what it is. I... Because, let me out of this. Take me with you. At the end of the hallway, inside. Don't worry, Fox. I'll save you because you are smart, Colt. Yo, man, I figured you'd be cool because, you know, you're a human. Alright, well, well Sid, since you want to be a cat and be free and you didn't come to count as letting me uh, live. Look at that I smile he's got. He's such a happy boy. Game. You have no idea how long I pictured this moment. Now, what did you need? Oh my god, please tell me I'm no longer like a bad person. I'm just a defiler now. That's not as bad. A waste of a stealth boy, but I'd rather get my health up. Alright, Fox, go get him. Let's go, Fox. Sixteen bottle caps. Score. Come on, Fox. Okay, so he was part of this vault then? He had a vault suit on. It's quite big on him, but...
Fox is pissed. He's like, how dare you put in prison me? Now try and hide from this battle begin. <laughs> now I release you. What did you need? God, he's taking forever. No more game. Time to oh. Go, oh, Fox. Get him. Your time. Hurry up and die. I'm hungry. Okay, you stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes. Sure thing, Fox. Just please hurry up. As promised, uh. I'm afraid this is where you maybe Yes What Sorry All I would do is go Okay It's kinda sad because I really would have liked to have a companion Even though it's literally not that much longer till I'm done with the game If they ever remaster 3 and New Vegas, I think beating the game after, uh, beating the main storyline isn't the end of the game, and that you should be able to bring your followers anywhere, just because it would be, uh, even better. Oh god, what the fuck? It's an ambush! Fox, save me! Fox! Oh, it's just the Enclave. Never mind. They're just losers. I'm more afraid of super mutants than these guys. Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. Damn it! I want my gag! Oh, man. So, you're a... Let's keep this nice and simple. If you tell me the code, it might be worth your life. But you're really not in a position to be demanding anything, are you? I'm... Very well. This is Colonel Autumn. Are your men in place, soldier? Affirmative, sir. Standing by for code transmission. Your code is 704. Repeat. 704. Confirm and enter. Copy. 704. Stand by, sir. 
Entering code now. <laughs> Negative, sir. The code's no good. I just lost another man. Why do you insist on making things physical? Because I'm not killing Maybe you, shit. I should start shooting. You guys How are the reason my dad's you dead. To lose before you tell me what I want to know. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Shoot me, you won't. You're a pussy. Yes, sir. Yeah, see, he won't shoot me. This is pretty cool, though, I will say. Anthony's got some pretty cool tech. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. Sure thing, Mr. President. You'll find your possessions Whatever in the that locker means. near the door. I'll unlock the way for your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Mm -hmm. Damn, another level up? Nice. Uh, a little bit more small gun. There. Alright. And then just one of the barter. I'm just going with anything that gives me health, really. The American Dream. Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. You're doing this quite is well, your President speaking. Keep following. I've invited our guests from Vault 101 to my office. Please do not impede his progress. Thank you for your cooperation. If you're supposed to be meeting the President, then go. Don't tell me, guys. I will literally kill all of you. Oh, man. My helmet's broken. They broke my helmet. If you're supposed to be meeting the president, then go do it. Get away from me. I didn't know where to go, man, and I haven't saved it forever. The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot on sight. This is an order. Look, man, I didn't know where to go. Like, when you have literally multiple, like, voices speaking over and you can't hear where to go. Like, how am I supposed to know which way to go? Nobody was giving me any directions. They're just like, just get away from me. 
Like, can't you just be nice and guide me there? God damn it, I'm lost. Well, arrow's pointing this way, so we will go this way. Oh, wait, so was the colonel just being bad? Okay, so I, I was alright for me getting lost. Good, good. President is a robot? It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but... Pleasure to meet you, Mr. President. You're too kind. The pleasure is mine, I assure you. I've been anxious to make your acquaintance for some time. You and I have much to discuss, my young friend. You and I have a chance to make our country a better place for all of us. I'd like you to make sure that chance isn't wasted. Understand, I am placing a great deal of trust in you. Your simple presence here proves that. Just what I needed to hear. What I'm going to ask of you may seem a bit disturbing. I assure you, there's a very good reason for it. I'd like to explain what I... The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant through our land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go My on, soldiers sir. cannot stem the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this Brotherhood of Steel. Mutations like the super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. I was hoping you'd see it my way. If the water purifier can be activated, it can be used to distribute toxins that will eliminate any mutated creatures upon ingestion. The longer it runs, the cleaner the world becomes. I need you to see that it starts running and that the necessary modification is made. In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple, isn't it? I understand. It's an unusual request. Wait a minute. One I wouldn't make it's if it weren't kill the anything but with radiation. Please but... understand. Now, obviously, we're not going to actually do that, and I did restart it so that, uh, the president doesn't blow everything up. But yeah, it's weird that you can basically make him just, uh, wait, so, if the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't have vertebrae, then... Doesn't that mean that after we beat the Enclave, that's when they get the vertebrates then? So that's how they get everything. Ooh, I want some of that stuff. I don't know what it is. Eliminate target! Yo, it's a lazy gathering gun! I want that! Give me that! Death to 
to the Enclave! Yo, is that Fox? Yo, Fox, what's up, my man? My friend, I see I found you at last. I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue to repay my debt to you. Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. <laughs> Whoa, this technology is amazing. Imagine the evil. That can be a I, as I owe you. I appreciate the offer, but I, I have read about a great museum. Goodbye, my friend. Perhaps I will join you in the future. Damn it. I'm just now to have a follower. This is the one issue I have with the whole karma thing. It's like you can only have like certain followers then. Well, Fox, uh, I don't think I'll ever see you, so I wonder if I can just kill him. Because obviously he's a waste of my time then. I'm joking. I'm not going to kill him. Uh, but that's where we're going to end this one. This was a very long episode, that's for sure. Uh, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye-bye.